Art is the artist, and artist's taste, and artist's character, everything about that person is reflected in his art in one way or the other. Ink painting started about 900, 1000 AD in China and then it has evolved into a, a painting system, a style by itself. In Europe, watercolor was you know, first used in the medieval time. The style, you, know, you would call it more hyper-realism. Ever since, you know, it has become more open up and more relaxed. The materials are quite simple. You need paper, you need brush, you need paint or ink and then you need palettes and water. The inspiration all come from what I observe. Typically, it start with photography, and then it will evolve into sketches. The, the feeling that I remember will become important when I come back to the studio. Both watercolor and ink are liquid-based medium which defines the major difference between them and the other medium like oil painting is the fluidity, is the unpredictability. At the beginning, you're guiding it, you're you know, moving the brush on the paper, and when you let the water and the paint or the ink flow and do its own things, what happens on the paper is not guaranteed, is not what I expected at the beginning. The surprise, spontaneity, so that the chance is especially more appealing to me. It is very important not to interfere the drying process. You want the nature to do its own work. When you come back and then you say, here's what happened. Okay, I need to kind of react to it and being able to kind of continue from that, that's sort of unique in the process. When I teach workshop, the first thing I, I work with the students is to accept that watercolor is about accident and spontaneity. People usually have a fear of watercolor painting. The skill comes with practice, but it's very important to get that shadow out of their mind that watercolor is scary as impossible medium. Learning how to address that fear can help you better enjoy painting. At the beginning when I started, I found myself gradually kind of went into sort of a more tight approach. My kids will grab my sketchbook and then paint, but then I realized what they painted was so free. And why were they able to do it? because there's no concern about what it looks like. You're more involved and absorbed in the action of painting rather than thinking about what will come out of it. Picasso was saying it took him four years to learn how to paint like Raphael, but it took him forever to paint like a kid. Over my years of painting, I come to realize by accepting accidents and spontaneity, I can turn those moments into an artistic beauty.